Beginners always end up with this kind of weld formation where the slag is trapped and not properly fused, and the molten metal and the key are just mixed together. I believe most friends have encountered this when they first learned welding. To put it simply, it's because they don't know how to observe the molten metal and can't tell the difference between molten metal and the key. Today, we're going to share exactly how to distinguish between molten metal and the key. We'll do a flat weld while using an iron rod, and we'll take a sip of liquor to make it even clearer for you to see where the molten metal is and where the key is. Let's take a look. You can see on the molten bead that there's a shape that looks both triangular and round. That's the molten metal. It's always at the tip of the welding rod, and that's what we commonly call the molten bead. Next to it, when we use the welding wire to stir, you can clearly see behind, that's what we commonly call the key. When we weld, it is essential that the molten metal and the key are well separated from the slag. In other words, the molten metal should be the key. If during welding, you feel like the key and molten metal are uncontrollable and keep mixing randomly, that means you're about to trap slag. At this moment, we can increase the current, tilt the electrode angle, or slightly increase the arc energy to prevent slag from being trapped. As long as you can instinctively distinguish between the key and the molten bead, even when they're about to mix together, you'll be able to sensitively detect where the molten metal is and you'll never have slag inclusion problems again. All right, that's all for today. I share practical welding tips every single day. If you want to learn more about welding, subscribe Weldmaster India for more practical tips every day.